Good morning everyone, I'm Miss Sarah and I'll be presenting Toddler Time for you this morning. Let's get started with our opening song. This is B-I-N-G-O by The Wiggles. Hey, that sounds like Bingo the Barking Dog. Hey Bingo! There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, B-I-N-G-O 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 And Bingo was his name Oh, Now this time when we spell Bingo Clap your hands with us oh, This is gonna be fun There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name Oh, B-I-N-G-O B-I-N-G-O when Bingo was his name-o Good job! Hey, that was fun! Let's do it one more Let's time! Let's do it again! What do you think, Bingo? <laughs> there was a farmer had a dog And Bingo was his name-o B-I-N-G-O 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 When Bingo was his name-o That was great clapping. Thanks, Bingo. Good job. Thank you for singing with me. Okay. So a reminder for our closing song, you are going to want to provide your kiddo with a scarf or handkerchief, dish rag, you know, something to do our dancing scarf blues. So let's get started with our letter of the day. <gasps> Who knows this letter? Mm-hmm. It's the letter L. We're going to talk about laundry today because I found some fun books about laundry. I think you'll enjoy it. No folding involved. So let's make the letter L with our finger pencils. So we have a straight line down and then a little line to the side. So let's give that a try. So finger pencils out, straight line down and over and off just like that. Let's do it one more time. So straight line down, over and off just like that the letter L for laundry. So, our first book is entitled Nuffle Bunny. It's a cautionary tale by Mo Willems. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, past the school, and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry in the machine. Really helped, I'm sure. Do you see Nuffle Bunny on these pages? Mm-hmm, right there. She even got to put the money into the machine. <gasps> then they left. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. <gasps> Look at her big eyes. Oh my goodness. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, faggle, cabble! That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. Is that what Trixie said? Aggle, faggle, cabble, cabble! Trixie said again. Blackle, plabble, wobbly, flobbly. You think Trixie's daddy's gonna understand what she's saying? Now, please don't get fussy, said Daddy. Well, she had no choice. <gasps> Trixie Ball, wow! She went boneless. She did everything to show how unhappy she was. Does she look unhappy? Mm-hmm. By the time they got home, her Daddy was unhappy too. As soon as Trixie's mom opened the door, she asked, Where's Nuffle Bunny? 
Mm, mommy knew what was missing. The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked everywhere for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. I think Trixie is still unhappy. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder and tell oh, Nuffle Bunny. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. The end. Okay, so for our felt set today, I have something a little different. I have a story about someone who does her laundry on Monday mornings. So each Monday morning at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. It takes her all morning. And when the sun's high, she's hanged what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. So she hangs up the dresses. She hangs up the shirts. She hangs up the underwear, nightgown, and skirts. She hangs up stockings. She hangs up shoes. She rings out the paper and she hangs up the news. She hangs up, what did she put on the line? The dog, his dish, and bone. She gets a wrong number, so she hangs up the phone. She hangs up an old wedding gown, a hat, and two sleepy bats. She hangs them upside down, of course. Then she hangs up a lamp. She hangs up a large Christmas wreath and Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. Put them up there where there's room. She hangs up a kite, of course, by the tip of its tail. Hangs better that way, of course. Then she hangs up the mail because the postman arrived. She hangs till she's hung every last thing in sight, including the turkey she's roasting for dinner that night. So each Monday by dusk, Mrs. Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. She takes off her apron, she lets down her hair, and then she hangs herself up in a comfortable chair. Good job, thank you for doing that with me. Kind of silly, that Mrs. McNosh, huh? Okay. So let's do our closing song. This is our Dancing Scarf Blues. And this is by Carol Peterson. Put your scarf to the side, then back the other way. Keep your scarf a moving, now you can sway. You got the blues. You got the Dancing Scarf Blues. Yeah, just keep your scarf from moving. You got the dancing scarf blues. Put your scarf to the front and then to the back. Careful, keep it moving. Don't you give me no flag. You got the blues. You got the dancing scarf. Scarf around your head, around your hips, around to then freeze. It's called the dancing scarf blues. Then jump up and down and up and down and up and down. Freeze! Don't move a muscle, I'm watching you. Shake your scarf way up high, then shake it down low. Shake 
Take up and down and up and down Look at you go You got the blues You got the dancing scarf blues Yeah Just keep your scarf from moving You got the dancing scarf blues Yeah Good job Thank you for joining me today. See you next week.